After one spring house tour, I guess I was coming in from Shadyside, and I see this big house on the uh, on the park, across, across from the park, and I said, hey, that's a pretty neat house. And uh, Jack Schmidt, who lives down the street, he said, oh, it's for sale. Is, you know, that was this house, and that was 1980-81. So the house on Beach was already finished. We had tenants in there. and. Um, when we went in to see this house, this house was six units. You could only get into the first floor because of the kind of tenants that were there. You couldn't see the second and third floor. It took about two years for the tenants, all the tenants to move out. We were afraid to leave the house empty because there were a lot of midnight plumbers around. Everything was being sold, particularly architectural artifacts. We decided it was safer to leave the one in Shadyside empty and move over here. So there was no central heat in this house. We put a furnace just for the first floor and moved into the first floor um, with a, a makeshift kitchen and our bedrooms were in the front room until we could move our bedrooms upstairs. And, that, and then over the years from that point, we finished sort of one room at a time, the decorating stuff, the painting and the wallpapering and all that decorating, we sort of finished and worked around ourselves. And, you know, we got it done to the point where we're happy now that a lot of it is done. And we've been here, what, 33 years? And you ask if we'd move anywhere, obviously <laughs> we wouldn't.